Good morning. It feels so refresh waking up in the middle of a bush. I don't know, you guys will call it forest. But it's a beautiful morning. And I don't know why I'm so happy. This is like one of my hidden places. Anytime I feel so happy, I just want to hide. Because I just hit one of the biggest milestones in my entire YouTube career. Which is really amazing, you know. And it just took me two months to get 100,000 subscribers, which has never ever happened to me. So I was kind of super excited. So I decided to just get away from the city. Because even watching my videos, you know that I always travel different African countries. So far, I've been to 17 African countries. I just traveled these African countries to show you that Africans don't just live in jungles like the way the Western media has been portraying Africa to be. So I've been to Rwanda. Welcome back to Rwanda. Tanzania, Swaziland, Mozambique. Oh my goodness. Mozambique. <laughs> South Africa. One of my favorite countries. But personally, I don't enjoy living in the city. I don't know about you. Um, city life or a bush life like this. I feel so happy, like very happy to be here. I mean, you get a chance to connect with nature. Not just connecting with nature, you know, but Living in a stunning paradise like this will make you have fresh ideas because I'm coming back with a banger, you know, like I never expect to get this 500,000 subscribers but the next goal is a million. So I just want to stay in a place like this, feel refreshed and come back again. This place is owned by my own friend though. Hey, my own friend though. And it's not open yet, but anytime I want to come, he's like, hey, Maya, come and just have fun. I'll show you guys him later. I think he's out there. He lives in the mansion and I live below the mansion. No, I call his place a castle because the view there is more than a castle, man. <laughs> so I would definitely take you there. But I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one who have subscribed to this YouTube channel. It means a lot to me, man. You, you guys have no idea. I promised you guys in January that I'm going to sponsor at least two people every three months to come visit the motherland, especially those of you who have never been to Africa before. I'm going to sponsor you from my own pocket. Because what I'm doing, it's not because I want to make money, but it's because I want to see people traveling in Africa, living in Africa, visiting Africa, schooling in Africa. Like, I just want Africans to feel proud. I mean, the pride of you knowing that you are an African. And I know there are so many Africans living in the diaspora who cannot afford to visit Africa. I'm going to sponsor you. It's because of COVID, that's why I couldn't do this somewhere in March. But it's still going to come on. Just to let you know that I'm not just talking about Africa. I, I'm not just telling you to come. But I also make want to make it happen. I just want to say I love you guys, man. And those of you who are living in Africa but never visited any other African country, I'm going to give you that money to go. But, you know, I cannot sponsor everybody. So I'm thinking of, like, doing three people on the continent and three people in the diaspora so together it's gonna to be six just to say thank you for being part of this awesome family you guys have no idea how i feel um you being part of this awesome family and i think i need to show you another video from this video i might upload that video when 
after getting 500k, I also became an uncle, became an uncle, so it's a double blessing, you know, everything, not double, double, not double, double, yeah, but some of you might ask, where is this place, it's in a brew, if you want to buy land in here, let me know, I mean, this place, hey, like I woke up around 6 a.m., and I could still see the fog. Hey, yeah, yeah. You can't sleep here at night alone, no. The way I'm struggling, eh? <laughs> I'm struggling, no. I'm sleeping alone. And um, I don't know what to say, but I think I'll take you up there and maybe show you the room a little bit. And then just go and see uh, my friend. He's up there. And show you around for you to see how beautiful this place is. This is me trying to talk to you it's not like a content trying to show you how beautiful places are or something like that this is me saying thank you to you for being part of this awesome family africa is beautiful and i just want to tell everyone out there it's time to give africa the chance i'm not saying africa is so perfect but i'm telling you that being an african it's a blessing. So, you all know that I'm a minimalist person. I always want to live simple. I feel so undisturbed whenever I'm here. So, this is the bed. And I, it's feel like you are in a natural environment. Everything here is made of wood. So, this is a wardrobe, my bed. That's where I put my laptop there. Like, it's not even hot in here like it's super super cold to live in a place like this like like i said don't come here alone but today i came here alone but anyway um let me just take you to the washroom uh, there's nothing here to show you just trying to show you that it's kind of simple and um this is my washroom you see it's my washroom pretty simple you got your hot shower can literally take a hot shower and then you're good to go so i don't know maybe i might take shower and then show you guys yeah don't worry i'll show you don't worry and um this tree house got like three floors i live on the second floor and my friend lives on the third floor like i said he's living in the castle here yeah? come with me i don't know if he's living around <laughs> mr airman you here? Uh, you're here? Uh, I'm good. Uh, Mr. Mr. Man, you're living your best life. Oh. You think so? Living in a place like this. This is a castle, oh, not even a mansion. Uh, I'm just, that's under construction. Under construction. Yeah. Uh, I, I spent a night. The view, uh, yeah, the view is... You like, you like the... Ah, uh, man. It's so cold. Eh? Very cold. Yeah. Mr. Man, how long have you been living here? No. The main house I built like 25 years ago. Hmm. 25 years ago? Yeah. What I did was, when I was younger, mm -hmm. in my 30s, I bought 100 acres and sold it to all my friends. So they're all building houses now. I'm here, got stuck here in the corona. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't go out. Leave? Normally in Sierra Leone. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I even forgot to tell them that I met you in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Yes, Leon. Leicester Peak. Peak. <laughs> yeah, Leicester Peak, yes. A beautiful Sierra yeah, Leone. Really yes. back in Ghana. But, yeah. but I, I don't know, do you still have land available? A couple, a few plus left. But a lot of people looking to buy. Oh, okay. So they shouldn't be available for too long before I go back. But while I'm here, I'm not doing anything. I'm expanding my Airbnb. There's, there's five apartments here. People come here to have peace. And I'm building another five next door, as you can see. And the whole place is kind of a construction site, but it's up in a brewery and it's beautiful. And as you can see, the room in the rainforest. Yeah. And it's just uh, 30 minutes from Accra. It is wonderful. I, I like I the love fact that you guys build in between the trees, you don't cut Yes, you don't cut the trees. No, it's not allowed in this estate. To the extent to which possible, you're supposed to keep the trees up. <laughs> oh, so it's uh, an estate? It's an estate, yeah. It's called Lubango Heights. And uh, we've been doing this for like 25 years. All my friends have houses here. Everybody here I know. We only sold to our friends, large lots to our friends. And uh, it's beautiful when we're here. The only problem we have is that when we have to have meetings, it turns into a party because we're all friends. <laughs> but... Um, Otherwise, so my main house is back there, and I'm, at, I'm in, the, in the penthouse of the Airbnb, Airbnb one, and I'm building Airbnb two, two. while I'm here. So in a couple of months, that should be ready too. 
then I'm free. Can earn and some money. Are, are you going yeah. back to Sierra Leone? I'm going back to Sierra Leone. Well, it seems you love Sierra Leone more than Ghana. Well, I grew up in Sierra Leone too. So, so Sierra Leone is beautiful. Wow. Freetown is lovely. And there's lots of development work to be done there. Mm -hmm. so, so it's sweet. But, you know, I had a problem when I went to Sierra Leone, yeah? What and um, what happened was that I realized that most Sierra Leoneans don't live in the country. I know it's, it's sad that a lot of the, the, uh, is, is it true, the educated man? people and so, but they went to war. So when I shake them down, that's what they say. They say, you know, Ghana never went to war, so you, you should understand. But, but can, you, can you tell them to come back? I've told them to come back many times. I've been telling them to come back since, you know, I, you know, I went to school in America too. I left two weeks after graduation and came back to Africa. Ooh. And I kept telling them to come back too. After graduation, two weeks you left? Yes. Why well, you didn't want to live in America? No, I can't be second class. There's too much racism. I couldn't. So I left. And, and also, don't forget, I couldn't do all this as a black person. Living in America. And too many people asking me questions, getting stopped by police. It's just too much. So I went there, I got my degree, and I left. Then when I think I'll give you another time for you to talk to me. Today, no it was just a little all. introduction. You know? No problem at all. <laughs> but no problem hey, at do you all. want to see Mr. Herman back again on the channel? Just let me no know. I will definitely all. bring him back again. All right, Mr. Herman, thank you so much. You've got a very beautiful place. and. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for the room. Anytime. When we finish the Airbnb, it will look even better. You know, all my friends are building in two to three months. This place will look like Martha's Vineyard. Wow. And uh, I'm excited. And, uh, <laughs> Thank mm. you. You guys have no idea how your boy, Mr. Maya, is enriching himself with so much knowledge with these people that I keep on interviewing every single day. Like at the age of 30, he managed to acquire 100 acres of land. Do you know how old am I? I'm 33 years old and I don't even own a teaspoon. Hey, 33? But I won't stop moving because I know that at the age of 34, I will own a thousand acres of land. If you believe, say amen in the comment section. <laughs> like I said, it's time to make Africa home again. He lived in the USA for five good years and he had to return back to Ghana two weeks after graduation. Some of you, after graduation, you want to live your entire life over there. Look at what he's acquired for himself. You know, they call him the Bill Gates of Africa. You know, I, you just relax. I'm just going to find time and talk to him for you guys, man. He, he, he got an incredible story. But today, I just want to give you what, a teaser about Mr. Herman. You know, it's good to have friends like that. Though. Yo! Do you guys know this fruit? Oh my goodness. Come, 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 come. Ace. Ah, no, it's all sports, man. Okay. Yeah, I can get a fresh one. Yeah, this is so fresh. This one is so fresh. How do you guys call it in your language? I don't know. I, I, I'm not an English speaker. I don't know how to say this in English. But in my village, oh my God, this will bring so much memories today, man. <laughs> Like, when I was growing up, we used to wake up 4 a.m., 5 a.m., just to go collect this. I mean, we go pick it up because we do, like, a competition. The person who picks up more of this will be able to make more money, you know. So, like, we go pick it up, and then in the morning, we put it in water, and we sit down and eat. And if you sleep more, which means that you're not going to even have one of this. I don't even know why they have so many in here. It looks as if those days kids are no longer in existence, man. I'm sorry. I don't tell me I used to wash it before I eat. I'm not gonna die, man. How do you guys call this in your language? Because I love this, man. Damn it. I wanted to show you guys around, man. But hey, I don't want to make this video so long. But this place is so pretty. I'm so happy. I just want to say thank you so much for being part of this family. But if today's your first time seeing this annoying boy on your screen, please do me a favor. Subscribe and be part of this awesome family. Like I said, I want to reach a million subscribers by the end of this year. And I know that I cannot do this alone. I know that with you, this will be possible. To all my fellow content creators out there, thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for being part of the family as a content creator. Like I always say,
keep up the good work do your thing stay loyal stay friendly i mean stay positive i don't know what to say but keep it real i love you guys and thank you so much for being here don't forget to like share and subscribe i am maya <laughs>